Kev, what's up, Megan here. Um, if you've been keeping up with me on Facebook, you notice that I decided to take a break after um, I did the, the whole research on on D training and mTOR and things like that, and I found out that uh, it was very important. It's not mandatory, right? But it's very important for people who train a lot, like myself. I train three times a day. I sprint and I go to the gym twice a day. It's very important for people like myself to uh, to take at least one or two weeks off from the gym, you know, and training in general after a long period of exercising, just to allow not to avoid overtraining. Because, like I said, I don't. I'm not a big believer in like overtraining as most people think it is. But to kind of reset your, your body's anabolic switch, right? To give your body a chance to know what it's like to, to not lift weights, to not experience stress. So that when you reintroduce the stress, it's a shock again. Almost kind of like reintroducing your noob gains, which is impossible, but, you know, just in theory. Um, and at first I didn't want to do it because I was like, man, I love training so much. I mean, I train, like I said, I train three times a day. That's not beneficial. You know, in many instances, that's actually detrimental because I don't, I work too much and I have a lot of stress in my life. Uh, that I have to balance out, so it's kind of hard for me to recover from those training periods. Uh, but I, I train because simply, simply because I love it, you know, not necessarily because it gains. If training stopped giving me gains, I would still train, you know. I do something I love. It's like my little sanctuary when I go to gym. Um, but I decided to give it a try because I, I wanted my logbook. Where I, I, you guys know I keep track of all my workouts from day one, from when I started bodybuilding in July 2011. And guess what I discovered? The last time I took at least two weeks off from, from training, gym, push-ups, because even when I don't go to the gym, I would stay home and do pull-ups and push-ups. The last time I took time off from training was in July 2011. Meaning, we're in July 2013, meaning it's been two years since I get my body at least two weeks to just, re to just rest and chill. That is bad, that is fucking horrible. You know, you know even fucking, it's not even high performance athletes know, you know to take guys just got pulled over you guys see this shit you guys see this anyway um um yeah even high performance athletes take at least you know some time off from from their whatever from you from, know from their craft and i went two years full blown even when i went to france i was still doing pull-ups and push-ups and handstand push-ups every day so anyway i realized you know what you have to give your body at least two weeks off right uh nothing no sprinting no training no lifting just to see what happens just to see if you could you know give your body a chance to reset and um, I, you know, I couldn't fucking do it. I did what about six, eight days, I believe. I was like, I, I can't do 12 to 14 days. I can't do it. So, but the good thing is, it gave me time to uh, sit back and look at my. You guys know I change my my training program. I actually make it better every four weeks. You know, I don't change it completely, but I make touches here and there uh, by looking at what's working for me and what's not. You know, my life is all about experimenting. You guys know me. I'm always trying new shit. You know, and if the new things I'm trying out is not working, I go back to the old stuff. You know, this way, I've, at least I've been around the world, you know, theoretically before I, I make a final decision. Um, so I, I looked at my old videos. I looked at my progress. I looked at when I was I was a lot bigger than I am now. I looked at when my body weight went down, when my muscularity went down. And thank God I keep everything written down in, in my notepad and my fitness pal. So I was looking at my calorie and things I was eating. Anyway, I, guys, I did this big, big, big overview on the last few months on the last year obviously and then i kept the best and threw out the bad right obviously i kept the uh, car pack loading because it's the best thing that ever happened to me uh, and i tried every diet out there i tried if i tried uh if you fish a macro it's been it's not really a diet i tried uh, uh the, um the caveman diet which is a great diet but car pack loading is really caveman diet and carb cycling combined uh, i tried carb cycling. i tried everything right so I, I know what i'm talking about when i say car pack loading is the best thing that ever happened to me um for my body type so I kept that, you know, I looked at my training, you know, obviously full body workouts is also the best thing that ever happened to me. But I also like, you know, you guys know me, I used to go back and forth between full body workouts and splits because they each offer the benefits. Uh, and um, so I found a way to come up with this crazy training program that that's still full body workout, because I'm not letting that go, uh, but also has some kind of splits mixed into it. So it's kind of like a hybrid program. And I, I, you know, I've been working on that for a long time. I've been trying to come up with the best hybrid split full body workout training for a long time, you know, trial and error, and I finally came up with one that is perfect, perfect to meet my goals, uh, you know, perfect to meet my, my, my busy schedule and things like that, and I also came up with the perfect, for me, nutritional program on paper, so I had six, eight days to literally sit back and, you know, go back to square one, and I'm so excited to, like, right now, I'm going back to the gym for the first time in over a week, and I'm super pumped, super excited, uh, I can't,
can't wait and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the progress. Get ready to see me blow up, right? Obviously, my the program that I came up with, training and nutrition wise, is designed to one, obviously lower my statin because it's like the big talk of the day now on my channel. Uh, stretch the fascia around the muscle, theoretically, because it's not really proven that it's possible, but just theoretically, through achieving my maximum pumps post you know, at the end of my workouts, and also uh, shooting for protein synthesis, trying to keep protein sentences optimized throughout the week as much as possible meaning I'm gonna have a lot more frequency in my training and and everything is just structured and perfect I, I love a structured and, per, uh, and um, perfect program that is designed to meet your goals so I'm really really excited and I'm gonna keep you guys posted on the, on the result if you want I might put the routine up uh, but um, yeah it's a new week it's a new beginning and um, I'm super excited Thanks for the support, guys, and stay tuned. The sky's the limit. Actually, the sky's not even close enough to be the limit, but you get what I'm saying.